Hey guys, it's Jenny here. I'm sorry, I'm post-shower, so my hair is doing everything crazy and nothing right. Um, I also spilled water on my shirt, so that's what that is. I had a cup of water, and it's just everywhere. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of announcements coming to the channel, and oh my god, this is craziness. But yeah, I have a lot of announcements for the channel. Um, so number one, I have a small, very, very small haul for you guys, so... I forgot I was in book club. <laughs> so, school's biggest book nerd forgot she was in book club. Okay. Um, but my librarian emailed me. She's like, Jenna, you gotta get to the library because I ordered your book and now it's in. So I have your book. Um, and my book club's so cool because my librarian, she orders us free books and we just get the books. Like, she just buys them they're brand new and this cover is so freaking soft i love it it's like it's like that almost those matte covers but it's like a gloss over the matte cover but it's not all a bit glossy can't even explain it it's just so freaking soft i love it um but yeah she's like you gotta get in here i got your book in finally and so that's cool so we just say hey i want to be in book club she writes our names down we get a free book then in like she gives us like three weeks to read it and then we uh get to skip class and um eat brownies and uh drink pop and eat chips and stuff and just discuss the book and sometimes we don't even discuss the book sometimes we just hang out and talk about books in general and it's freaking great but anyway the book that we have for this um quarter oh yeah that's right so this is the third book for book club so far. Um, the first book we had was When We Wake by Karen Healy. The second book we had was The Body in the Woods by April Henry. And this one is All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin. And this is a sci-fi book. Um, this is about in the future where chocolate and caffeine are illegal. Chocolate and caffeine are like drugs now um and yeah so they're like totally outlawed and people smuggle them in and treat them as drugs and stuff and um and what is it i think i think it's like paper and stuff that's like very carefully rationed um yeah water oh chocolate and caffeine are contraband teenage self teenage cell phone use is illegal and water and paper are carefully rationed. Um, and the character's name is Anya Blanchin, and she finds herself thrust unwillingly into the spotlight as heir apparent to an important New York City crime family. And I think that just sounds so freaking badass. Like, okay, chocolate, caffeine, cell phone use is all legal, and water is rationed. So, and she is like, family of um important criminal family so i'm really excited to read this it's like 350 pages or something like that so i should be able to get through this fairly easily and i was reading a couple uh pages of it while i was in chemistry because i had to pick <laughs> okay so i was already carrying the book that i was reading with me and then i stopped on the library from the way from my history class on the way to my chemistry class and so i had two books carried with me and another one in my backpack so <laughs> I had three books with me by the end of the day, and I was getting some looks, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, when I was in my chemistry class, I took a break from the one that I'm reading, and um, I started reading a couple pages of that, and it's really good so far. And I know that it's going to be one of those easy ones for me to read. So yeah, this is all in all just a an updates video, because I have a lot of updates, like just small things here and there that I really want to update you guys on, and also... <laughs> In case I forget, at least I'll have a video of it to like rewatch for myself if I forget what uh, like I was gonna do. But um, I ended up picking up Walk on Earth, Stranger by Ray Carson. Um, I am on page ninety three, and I actually really do like it so far. Um, at first, I really liked how um, how action packed it was from the start, but now I feel like it's kind of going a little bit too fast. I don't really like it when things go too fast, but I'm hoping its pace slows a little bit. Um, yeah, just the... I don't even know. I think... 
the biggest downfall well I don't want to say the biggest downfall because I'm only like 100 pages into it but one of the downfalls for the character happened within the third chapter and I usually don't like that when that happens excuse me sorry but as I was saying um the action of the story kind of started off really early and it just seems like all of the really important events for the story were like boom 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 like somersaulting after one like one after the other and I was kind of like like yeah it, gave, it got me more invested in the story but like I don't want to have all this action and hit a dead zone because that's gonna suck um I really feel like this could have been like the beginning could have been another like 50 pages long and they could have stretched out longer but I'm just hoping that the action carries on so it's not all just dead but yeah I am actually really liking this I liked it a lot more than I was expecting it to um so yeah so this is what I'm reading currently um and then I have a couple video announcements so um number one is that I think I'm gonna be starting to do like weekly reading vlogs um I've been watching Emma Books and her uh winter biannual bibliothon vlogs and I really really like those she does hers daily um for this week but um I've also been watching a lot of small booktubers them doing their um their reading vlogs like they vlog every day for a week and then they compile it all into one video and I really like that idea because I know that when I watch Emma's, she's just doing hers every day and I really like seeing like a glimpse into her life. But I really like the longer videos too where it's just like a whole week compressed into one video. And so I think I'm going to start doing that. Um, it's Wednesday night right now so like I don't really want to start yet but like I'm really excited to do it so... I'm thinking that, like, if I do, I might start tomorrow and go until Wednesday next week so that it's, like, kind of still a week, but, you know, and then I would start on the following Monday after I would stop filming. I don't know. It's confusing, but, um, I'm just, like, really, like, excited and I just want to start vlogging right away, but, um, so I might start doing that tomorrow. I, if I don't forget, I probably will. Um, so that's one video, one more content that you can expect coming to the, to the channel. Um, what was the second thing? Um, I know there's another thing. Um, oh, yeah. I, um, I was also watching Emma's video on how she takes bookstagram pictures. And I do have a bookstagram, but, like, I don't really take that many aesthetic pictures on my own. So I'm going to start doing that a lot more. Um, I have some props that I've been collecting around the house. And she just takes hers with a plain white sheet. And she just puts the props and the books on there. And I really like that idea. So I'm going to, um, I'm probably going to start being more active on my bookstagram. So if you want to follow that account, um, I will link, <laughs> I will leave my link or my username down below. Um, and then... The next thing was I also have another video announcement. Um, another video that I plan on doing soon in the future is um, I'm going to be doing the backwards book title challenge with my best friend Rachel. Um, she hopefully one of these days I can get her over here and we're going to be filming the backwards book challenge. I originally saw this on I don't remember whose page it was. Caddy Tastic maybe? But, um, I also saw it on Christine's page. I think it was Christine's page. Yes, it was Christine's page. But, um, yeah. And then one more video that I'm really thinking about doing is a tour of my TBR shelf. Um, it's really, really hard for me to do a bookshelf tour right now because of the lack of shelves. <laughs> um, yes, I do have two, technically, like, three shelves if you really think about it. But, like, I only have two bookcases. And... A lot, I have so many hardcovers that, like, um, I have more paperbacks than hardcovers, but the hardcovers that I do have are really, really bulky, so they take up a lot of space, like, um, and so I have to stack a lot of books horizontally, so when I'm doing a bookshelf tour, it's really hard to take those out 
and like show you guys those and I know like to do a proper bookshelf tour that's what they usually do they take them out and they show you every one they have on the shelf um so I'm gonna be waiting until I um I can see if my dad will help me out with building my custom bookshelf to do um to do a bookshelf tour so yeah I plan to do those couple videos and start doing the reading vlogs as a new trend um, I just run. I just really want to get it more involved and give you guys more new original. I guess you can say original because it's like nobody else can copy exactly what I'm filming because you guys get a look into my life. But like, yeah, I just do a lot of tags and hauls and just wrap ups and stuff. So I really want to do something that gives you guys a better. Um, better knowledge of like just me as a person so I think that doing those weekly reading vlogs will help a lot um and I think it's gonna motivate me to read more uh because I've been watching Emma books as I said and her reading vlogs she has been reading like a book a day and I aspire to be that level of motivated but, um, actually, I started out really, really slow for this month of reading. Um, I, but now I have, I only, I started at, like, the 13th of January, and it's now the 23rd, or it's the 24th, and I have five books in the jar, so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe doing these reading vlogs will speed up my process and just motivate me to read more as well. So, um... Yeah, there was one more thing I was going to say, now I can't remember what it was. Um, but, gosh dang it, now I'm going to get irritated because I can't remember. <laughs> okay, that's really aggravating, but um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I have a couple of those videos to film and I really want to get to those reading vlogs. Um, so I just thought I'd let you guys know. So this video has been what? A book haul, updates, video announcements. It's just been everything. So yeah. Um, also this weekend I'm, I'm going to try to do another readathon. I don't know though. I don't think I have anywhere to go this weekend and I don't think anybody's coming over this weekend. So... It's going to be another one of those free weekends that if I haven't already finished up Walk on Earth a Stranger, I will be this weekend. Um, and I'm going to try to either power through my book club book or power through City of Bones. Oh, I remember what the other thing was now. Um, I plan to try to join Audible. Um, a lot of people have been reading the audiobooks books and while I've never been a fan of them, um, I feel like people get a lot more reading done if they're reading like a physical book and then they take their audiobook with them when they can't read the physical book. And I just really want to get more reading done. Um, and I don't know. I'll try it. Like, I might get one book. I don't know if I still have my free trial or not. But, like, I could always make a new account. <laughs> but I don't know if Audible does a free trial. But I, it's something that I really, really want to try. I want to try an audiobook and see if, like, it helps my reading or doesn't help my reading. Or if it, like, I like reading like that or if I don't. So, Yeah. I'm just full of new ideas. I'm trying to improve not only my channel, but um, my reading for 2018. So, um, yeah, bookstagram, book videos, Audible, tiny book haul. And by the way, I still am in love with how this cover feels. Like you can see, it's like not all the way glossy, but it's not like all the way matte either. It's like a perfect in between. And actually, the Vampire Diaries books feel like this and it's so nice. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below what you are changing, what new changes you're having to your reading life or to your booktube channel if you have one. Um, comment what changes you're making to those and if you have a booktube channel, link it down below because chances are I might want to watch it because what else am I going to do when I don't have homework? And when I decide to, like, read, I always have background noise when I read, so. But, yeah, so, yeah, thank you. <laughs> How many times can you say yeah in a video, Jenna? I almost just said yeah again. But, 
Okay, so thank you guys for watching once again. <laughs>